UN Security Council has uh, condemned the Pulwama terror attack in which 40 Indian soldiers are martyred. It has condemned the action of Jaish Muhammad, which has claimed responsibility for the attack. The members of the council have expressed their deepest condolences to the families of the victims. The UN body has urged all states to cooperate with the Indian government in the matter. It has also reiterated that any acts uh, of terrorism are criminal and unjustifiable. India is moving to seal the taps of, to Pakistan. Uh, this move comes a week after the dastardly Pulwama terror attack and is a part of the India's multi-pronged uh, approach. Union Minister Nitin Gadkari has said that a project is in the works to divert India's share of water which used to flow to Pakistan from its eastern rivers. This will be supplied to Punjab and Jammu and Kashmir. For this, India is constructing the Shahapur Kandi Dam at Shahapur Kandi on the Ravi River. Pakistan Indus Water Commissioner has uh, reacted to reports of India cutting of water supply to Pakistan and the Commissioner said that stopping the water flow to Pakistan from India's eastern rivers is a political statement. He added that India cannot unilaterally end the Indus Water Treaty. The Commissioner went on to say that India cannot stop the water flow to Pakistan. Sources say that Pakistan may seek World Bank's intervention in the matter. Consulate General of India in Dubai has asked for job seekers to stay away from fraudulent advertisements luring Indians to the UAE. The consulate has said that they have come across at least two fraud job offers made to Indian nationals. The consulate has asked people to seek a clarification by sending an email to Vice Council in case they have any doubts. Now, the consulate also highlighted that it is the employers who is supposed to pay for the visa and work permit process, not the employee. Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman arrived in China last night. Mohammed bin Salman is due to meet officials including the Chinese president and a ruling Communist Party leader Xi Jinping during his visit to the communist country. Saudi Arabia will be highlighting its importance as one of China's top oil suppliers and a market for its exports, including military drones. U.S. and Chinese trade negotiators have resumed high-level talks to, in fact, sketch out a deal to end the trade war. This comes just a week before a U.S.-imposed deadline to reach agreement expires. The two sides are starting to hash out an agreement on structural issues. They are dra drafting language for six memorandums of understanding on proposed Chinese reforms. If the two sides fail to reach an agreement by March 1st, U.S. tariffs on $200 billion worth of Chinese imports are set to rise to 25%. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo has ruled out a Kansas Senate race in 2020. Pompeo has said that he will serve as Secretary of State as long as the U.S. President Donald Trump wants him to. In a TV interview, Pompeo said that he loved what he was doing. He went on to say that running for the Senate was completely ruled out. Last month, Pompeo deflected speculation he might run for a retiring Republican Senator Pat Roberts' seat. U.S. President Donald Trump's former campaign chairman, Paul Manafort, will be sentenced on March 8th. He has been convicted for bank and tax fraud. The 69-year-old could spend the rest of his life in prison. All this due to charges stemming from his work as an international political co consultant and lobbyist. He's one of the first people in Trump's orbit to face criminal charges under the Mueller probe. Robert Mueller has been probing Russian interference in the 2016 U.S. presidential elections. A judge has tightened the gag order on Trump's ex-political advisor Roger Stone. Stone has been asked to stop speaking publicly about Mueller's criminal case against him or else he will be sent to jail pending trial. 
U.S. Judge Amy Berman Jackson said Stone's apology and explanations for the Instagram post were not credible. He had posted a photo of her next to the image of the crosshairs of a gun on his Instagram account. Jackson had ordered Stone to appear and court after he posted the image, which he had taken down later. A car exploded in Syria's northern city of Afrin. A phone footage captured the dramatic aftermath. A video clip posted on social media shows the wreckage of a car burning in the streets. Local residents appear to pull people from vehicles nearby the blast site. Several people have been injured. The attack is said to have happened after a military parade in the city. Allah Akbar says, Jew, he shot out the left. Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro announced he was accepting medical aid from Russia. He also told Venezuelans that his government had accepted the offer for technical humanitarian assistance from the European Union through the system of the UN. This comes after he met the Russian Foreign Deputy Minister and European Union representative uh, as well. Maduro said that he has the support of Cuba, Russia, China, Turkey, India and Palestine. Maduro ordered the shutdown of the border with Brazil. He also threatened to shut down the border with Colombia. Lawmakers clashed with soldiers wearing riot gear on a roadblock at a tunnel near the Colombian border. This led to several buses being stopped in Venezuela. Venezuelan opposition leader Wayne Guido left Caracas with some 80 lawmakers hoping to receive humanitarian aid at the Colombian border. Lawmakers had some vehicles managed to pass through the tunnel after being stuck for several hours. Lawmakers said Guido's vehicle continued but its exact location was being kept a secret due to his security reasons. Eleven Venezuelan uh, diplomats in the U.S. have deflected from President uh, Nicolas Maduro's government in the past month. All this after opposition leader Wayne Guaido declared himself as interim president last month. Senior aide to the Venezuelan opposition envoy to Washington said that uh, Maduro's diplomatic network in U.S. had ceased to function. Not just that, bank accounts for Venezuelan uh, embassies and consulates in the U.S. had been frozen. Venezuelans living outside the country have been warned not to use the official embassy website to apply for a visa. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu will be meeting Russian President Vladimir Putin in Moscow on February 27th. The focus of the meet is likely to be Middle East issues led by Syria. The two leaders had been scheduled to meet this week, but the meeting had been postponed. A statement from Netanyahu's office, or in fact, had offered no further details. Israeli officials have spoken in the past of an agreement with Moscow under which uh, strikes on Syria would not threaten Assad. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's primary challengers have decided to join forces ahead of the elections in April. This is the first credible alternative to Netanyahu's decade-long rule. Retired military chief Benny Gantz and Yer Lapid, head of the Yes Added Party, said that they would represent a joint list for the upcoming vote. They said that this would constitute the new Israeli ruling party to have agreed to rotational leadership should they come to power. Pope Francis promised that concrete action against uh, priests who have sexually abused children would uh, result from a conference he opened. He acknowledged that the church had in fact uh, been fighting the enemy within. A Pope convened the meeting with Catholic leaders to discuss the scandal that had ravaged the church's credibility in the United States. 
His opening remarks aimed at countering skepticism among victims who said the meeting looked like a public relations exercise. Activists in Poland pulled down a statue of, of a priest. This comes after allegations that uh, he sexually abused minors uh, increased. The activists said they were protesting the failure of the Polish uh, Catholic Church to resolve the problem of clergy sex abuse. Video footage showed three men attaching a rope around the statue of late uh, Henryk Jankowiczki. Then they uh, pulled it down to the ground. The activists then uh, played uh, placed children's underwear in one of the statue's hands to symbolize the suffering of children allegedly molested. Clashes between the government of Yemen and uh, Houthi rebels have been going on for the past few days. The fighting comes as the two sides of the conflict engage in talks about the redeployment of forces in the key port city of Hodeida. The UN envoy to Yemen, Martin Griffiths, told the UN Security Council that Yemen's government and Houthi Shiite rebels had uh, agreed on the first phase of redeployment from the ports. Thousands uh, peacefully protested in Barcelona against the trial of 12 uh, Catalan leaders. They are being uh, tried over their role in a banned uh, independence bid in 2017. The strike had been called by a minority pro-independence labor union in support of the jail leaders. Earlier, riot police briefly clashed with protesters in a separate demonstration. Uh, police said major roads had been reopened after initial uh, obstructions to traffic and being uh, removed. Tens of thousands of people rallied across Slovakia. Their rally marked the one year since the slayings of an investigative reporter and his fiance, Jack Kusiak and Martina Kusinirova, were shot dead in their home on February 21st, 2018. Slovak authorities believe it was a contract killing to Kusiak's work. People at the rally pressed for answers from the investigation. Europe's next generation space rocket Ariane 6 is close to signing two commercial deals. It has three institutional orders in hand from the European Commission and France. This is a key milestone for the rocket as it completes with uh, SpaceX. Manufacturers say the rocket will be more versatile than Ariane 5. It will be able to place 90 small satellites in low Earth orbit and take classic spy satellites to far higher perches in the geostationary orbit. German researchers have developed a blood test to better detect the breast cancer. Researchers from Heidelberg University called their finding a milestone in diagnosing the disease. Hospital's managing medical director has said the liquid biopsy procedure was now non-invasive and could determine whether there is an indication for an illness or not. The blood test will be marked, uh, marketed later this year. Researchers claim there is a 95% chance that the cancer can be cured. It were uh, detected early. Four-year-old uh, performed his uh, favorite trampoline act in his wheelchair. He became an inspirational at uh, a North Dakota charity event. Now, White was born with a with spina bifida. Spina bifida is a birth defect that prevents the spinal column from forming properly. A video made at a Valentine's Day fundraiser showed the gym's special needs coordinator bouncing with with Wyatt in his uh, chair on the trampoline. Oh! 
for the first time in a decade, uh, Las Vegas experienced significant snowfall. Las Vegas saw snowfall of a half an inch or 1.3 centimeters. The National Weather Service said it was the first measurable snow since record keeping started in 1937. Forecasters say the snow accumulation could reach 3 inches by Friday. All-rounder Hardik Pandya will not feature in the home series between India and Australia starting on the 24th of February after suffering a lower back stiffness injury. Spinner Ravindra Jadeja will replace Pandya in the five-match ODI series while no replacement has been named for the two-match T20 series against the Aussies. The BCCI has appointed Justice D.K. Jain, a retired Supreme Court judge, as uh, ombudsman, uh, the uh, board's final adjudicating authority under its uh, constitution. One of the first issues Justice Jain is likely to, need to deal with is the recent suspension of Indian players Hardik Pandya and K.L. Rahul. Both players were suspended for their uh, offensive comments on a TV show. The Supreme Court has also slammed uh, COA members Dina Edulji and Vinod Rai for airing their differences publicly.